Ladies and gentlemen of the Shred Game and Tedicom video, it seems that everyone has APIs on the mind at the moment, and GDC next month, of course, early next month, is going to be a very exciting time. Um, no more so than, of course, we've got DirectX 12, but adding to the chorus of interest would be Valve, and they are going to be unveiling the Kronos GL uh, at GDC next month. So, what the hell is... Kronos. Well, you might have already heard of OpenGL. Well, this is the next iteration of that, and Valve are going to be spearheading it. Now, of course, Valve have already really started to push the Linux um, ecosystem with, for example, Steam OS. And so, um, at the Game Developers Conference, there's a session. It, it says, and I quote, Join us for the unveiling of Kronos GL Next initiative. The upcoming cross-platform graphics API designed for modern uh, programming techniques and processes. GLNX will be the singular choice for developers who demand peak performance in their applications. We will present a technical breakdown of API, advanced techniques, and live demos. I'm sorry, I'm getting quite hyped. And live demos of real-world applications running on GLNX drivers and hardware. So, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I'm pretty bloody excited. Um, you probably told it in my, tell it from my voice. It's a very... How can I put this? I don't want to be super technical in this video because, honestly, it would be a lot of speculation. Um, and we've only got roughly a month to wait. Uh, in fact, it's Mar uh, March the 5th. Uh, bleh, March the 5th, so not too long at all. And I'm really looking forward to it because there's going to be Johan Anderson. There's going to be Pierre Lompe Graffitis, uh, who's from Valve. There's going to be several chaps over at Valve, as well as a um, guy from Epic, Dan Baker from Oxide, and so on and so forth. In other words, it's if you're a geek, if you're into like the graphics engines and all of that stuff, these guys are pretty star-studded. Uh, Johan Anderson, of course, really started to help spearhead the Frostbite engine, um, as well as some stuff with Mantle. My point being that this is going to be a very interesting time, and I mentioned several times over that I, I honestly believe PC gaming is doing a lot of evolution right now, and I think this year is not necessarily where we're going to reap the benefits, but I think this year we're going to sow a lot of the seeds for the next couple of years. In other words, kind of like we're putting the crops down and they're going to grow. DirectX 12, Mantle, and Kronos, or GL Next if you prefer. And it's going to be exciting. What does it mean? I'm pure speculation because at the end of the day, I do not have access to their slides at the moment. What it most likely means, to be totally honest, is that we're going to be seeing a really large evolution. It could mean that games are no longer such a pain in the ass to port to Linux, which is going to be absolutely fantastic, of course, for Valve. It means that we might even get better cross-platform games in general. It might mean that hopefully it's going to be a fairly low level and high-performance API. And you know what? I would actually be totally cool with that. I would actually be totally okay with the future of gaming not being DirectX 12. I I'm okay with that. And by which, I mean, I'm not saying I hate DirectX 12. I'm not saying that I don't like it as an API. I think from what I'm reading, it's really impressive. But if this turns out to be better for a larger ecosystem of people, or maybe it's not better, maybe it's going to be the right tool for the right job. And I'm also totally awesomely okay with that as well. At the end of the day games developers have to figure out what games they're going to be creating, what hardware and software they're going to be targeting, and what platforms they want their games to be on. In other words, do they want their game to be exclusive to the Xbox? If so, well, you got a certain API you got to work with. It's kind of that, that simple. Are you targeting you know, towards the PlayStation ecosystem, in other words, PSSL, are you targeting towards the PSSL, in which case are you going to be going more the PlayStation 3 route, the PlayStation 4, or are you going to be going PC? Because if you're going PC, are you going to be staying on high-end devices, or are you going more wider in the net, in other words, like, kind of low-level performance, and not so worried about high-end graphics, maybe you don't need a bare metal, like, low-level API in that case, so you can, you know, kind of 
optimize around this. And at the end of the day, this is going to be really, really awesome stuff. I'm actually really looking forward to um, some doing some really uh, good analysis on this, particularly as we can actually do some pretty good like for like comparisons on DirectX 12. Hopefully, we'll have some more stuff with Mantle as well. Um, and don't forget, although I didn't cover this. Um, just a while back, there was Unreal Engine. So there was a lot more Unreal Engine footage that was released. And with Unreal Engine, we're starting to see just how pretty awesome this stuff is going to be. Like, in terms of the graphical effects, better textures, better lighting. And don't forget, one of the whole reasons for these APIs, improvements in APIs, is so you don't get a situation where you've got, like, crap multi-threading, to be totally honest. Which was an issue of, like, say, Dying Light, where you have... Uh, CPU core 0 or CPU core 0 and 1 having like 90 or 100% CPU usage and then you know you could have like 12 other threads or 11 other threads or whatever and those are doing like 25% of the work, 25% um, CPU utilization rather. In other words it's not really doing what it should be doing and the benefits of course as, as we've seen um, well, it's not doing that with uh, DirectX 12. It's actually putting the rendering threads over multiple cores. And in fact, Brad Wardell, who of course works at Stardock, uh, he, was he was giggling like a schoolgirl when he was showing that DirectX 12 was maxing out at uh, 5960X. I mean, just think of how many threads, how much CPU performance a 5960X actually has. And... It was maxing the entire thing. It has eight CPU cores, and each of those are running hyper-threading, so that's 16 threads, and the sucker actually maxed it out on DirectX 12. We covered that a couple of days ago. Um, in fact, I did an article of it on the 25th of January, so more than a couple of days ago, but still. So that just gives you an indication of what was, what's going to be coming up, right? Um, so hopefully, Valve backing this new API as well as others of course in the industry it's not just Valve that are spearheading this I'm, I'm really looking forward to it I'm, I'm pretty okay with this to be totally honest with you anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video I'll see you soon take care bye for now